guys might have seen on our story, we're installing a baller custom set of flat out GR40 coilovers and shocks on my beater daily. These are an inverted monotube, so let's talk about what that means. Believe it or not, the stalkers were inverted up front, so we can use these to give you guys a better idea. Now, as you can tell, this boy got a thick old shaft. And Basically what this means is the shaft is now the body and the shaft that actually is functioning on the inside. So it's a little hard to explain, but I'll grab a regular shock so you can see. This is the rear shock from the assembly. And as you can tell, mounts like this, the shaft compresses into the body. There's a piston on the other side of that shaft, oil flows through it. That's how stiff it is. Pretty simple, right? Well, on an inverted on tube like these, this body section is actually here. So basically the shock compresses and pushes this shaft inside the body to compress it. And since that shaft is so big, they have internal bump stops, which is super cool. So why does that matter? Well, it comes down to side loads, stiction and unsprung mass. Being that, as you can see here, there is no upper control arm. This is a McPherson strut setup. Not only is this strut acting to locate the suspension, at least for camber and caster, like your upper control arm would on a double wishbone setup, double A arm, it also turns with the steering. In both of those situations, that puts a lot of side load on the shaft and by being wider, that only spreads the load so there's less chance of stiction and binding up so the shot can move smoothly, but that added size is adds strength, which also reduces deflection, keeps this strut from breaking. Additionally, by having the weighty part of the strut up top, theoretically, unsprung mass should be lower, which is always a big deal. On this particular application, we only have 250 pound per inch springs. So unsprung mass really matters because, well, it would be easy to over overload that spring weight with too much unsprung mass. Now, what we know is much of a difference just because of that, maybe not here, but there are some applications where it will matter for sure. But simply put, by inverting the body, getting you that thick shaft, it just helps mitigate some of the drawbacks and idiosyncrasies that come with a McPherson strut setup like this, particularly when you're going off road. I would not run anything else but an inverted strut if you are gonna be spending a lot of time off road, especially in something as heavy as this.